Hey y'all, it is day 13 of Word Attack. Um, that means this is, what day is it going to be? This is Friday. Yep, it's day 13 of Word Attack. It is Friday. Um, you should have your week three packet, week three, day 13 in front of you, specifically your fluency passage for day 13, the C, week three, day 13. If you do not have that out, go get that now. And pause the video and go get it. If you do have it, Great, we're going to get started. First things first, I'm going to read the story by myself. Follow along. Reading fingers up in 3, 2, 1, down in 3, 2, 1. Ready, set, and go. The sea. When you go to the sea, you will see many things. First of all, there is the water. Lots of it. There is water as far as you can see. Then there is sand at your feet. You can see lots and lots of sand. Above your head is the sky. There is as much sky as there is sand and water. I like the way it smells at the sea. It is hot and sweet and salty. If you look very closely, you may see a seabird. Freeze. Okay, now we're going to read all together. All together. Reading fingers up in 3, 2, 1, down in 3, 2, 1. Ready, set, and go. The sea. When you go to the sea, you will see many things. First of all, there is the water. Lots of it. There is water as far as you can see. Then there is sand at your feet. You can see lots and lots of sand. Above your head is the sky. There is as much sky as there is sand and water. I like the way it smells at the sea. It is hot and sweet and salty. If you look very closely, you may see a seabird. Freeze. All right, now's your opportunity to read by yourself. Make sure you're reading as fast as you can. If you get to a word you don't know, sound it out. If you still don't know it, skip it. Reading fingers up in three, two, one. Down in three, two, one. Read by yourself. Ready, set, and go. Keep reading. Ten more seconds. Freeze. Okay, freeze your finger on the last word you read, um, and then circle it. Grab a pencil, a pen, a crayon, whatever, circle that word. So when you're checking teacher calls, she can know how many words you read. Okay, so we did our fluency. Now we're going to do our work, and now we're going to do our, what's it called? Map review. Map review. Okay, so remember, we've been talking about syllables, and when we talk about syllables, we clap it out. When we talk about syllables, we do what? Get ready? Yes, we clap it out. Okay. When I take the map test, I read the question two times. Name each picture. Which picture has the most syllables? Let me read it again. Name each picture. Which picture has the most syllables? 
most means biggest number. So we're trying to find the picture that has the biggest number or the most syllables. The first word is pumpkin. Oh, sorry. sorry. When I take the map test, I look at every answer choice. The first word is pumpkin. Clap out pumpkin. Get ready. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. How many syllables are in the word pumpkin? Get ready. Yes, two. The next word is giraffe. What word? Get ready. Yes, giraffe. Clap out giraffe. Get ready. Giraffe. Giraffe. How many syllables are in the word giraffe? Get ready. Yes, two. The last word is watermelon. What word? Get ready. Yes, watermelon. Let's clap it out. Get ready. Watermelon. Watermelon. How many syllables are in watermelon? Get ready. Yes, four. So pumpkin has two syllables. Giraffe has two syllables. Watermelon has four syllables. Which picture has the most syllables? Get ready. Watermelon, because it has four and the other ones have two. But remember, when we take the map test, we always ask ourselves, does my answer make sense? So I'm gonna think, is four bigger than two? Does watermelon have the most? So like, is four a bigger number than two? Yes or no? Get ready. Yes. And remember, our uh, question was asking for the most syllables. So we did that correctly. Our answer does make sense. Okay. When I take the map test, I read the question two times. Name each picture. Which picture has the most syllables? Let me read it again. Name each picture. Which picture has the most syllables? So once again, we're looking for the most syllables or the biggest number of syllables. The first word is popcorn. What word? Get ready. Yes, popcorn. Let's clap it out. Get ready. Popcorn. Popcorn. How many syllables are in popcorn? Get ready. Yes, two. The next word is kangaroo. What word? Get ready. Yes, kangaroo. Let's clap out kangaroo. Get ready. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. How many syllables are in kangaroo? Get ready. Yes, three. The next word is snowflake. What word? Get ready. Yes, snowflake. Clap out snowflake. Get ready. Snowflake. Snowflake. How many syllables are in the word snowflake? Get ready. Yes, two. So popcorn has two syllables. Kangaroo has three syllables. Snowflake has two syllables. Which word has the most syllables? Get ready. Yes, kangaroo, because it has three. It has three syllables, the rest have two. Let's make sure our answer makes sense. Our question was asking for the most. Is three bigger than two? Yes or no? Get ready. Yes, three is the most number of syllables. Our answer does make sense. We just um, did our map review. Say, where to go? What's where to go? What's we're so smart? We're so smart. We're gonna crush our map goals. We're gonna crush our map goals. Now we are moving on to our word attack. Remember, you need day, week three, day thirteen materials out. Week three, day thirteen. If you do not have your word attack paper. Go get it now. I'm going to be pulling up our lesson. Make sure you have that word attack paper in front of you as well as your a pencil. Let's see. Okay. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is learn a new vocabulary word. Today's word is the word dim. What word? Get ready. Yes, dim. Dim means not bright. Dim means not bright. What does dim mean? Get ready. Not bright. Good. Dim means not bright. Another word for not bright is dim. What is another word for not bright? Get ready. Yes, dim. Another word for not bright is dim. For example, when Don went down into the basement, it was not bright. When Don went down into the basement, it was dim. Or for my friends who were in my EL, when we were learning about the sun, the moon, and stars, we talked about how sometimes the moon in the sky was dim. Sometimes the moon in the sky was not bright. Think about a way that you can use the word dim in a sentence. The light bulb was dim. 
right? You got to use it like the word not bright. Think about how you can use the word dim in a sentence. Whenever you're ready to say your sentence, just say it to the screen. The sun in the sky was dim. Yes. The night light was dim. Mm-hmm. Yep, the moon was dim, the light bulb was dim. Yes, all of these sentences make sense because the word dim means not bright. Okay, now let's review our word from yesterday. What does the word continue mean? Get ready. It means go on. What does the word continue mean? Get ready. Yes, go on. What is another way to say go on? You ready? Yes, continue. Okay, now we're going to get into our writing. When we write, we always write in lowercase letters. When we write, we always write the sound of the word one time. When we write, we always say the sounds as we write. And when we write, we always check our work. We're going to write some sound combinations first. The first sound combination you're going to write is the sound combination k. What sound combination? You ready? Yes. On line one, write the sound combination k. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Eyes on me. As I write the sound combination, you say the sounds. As I write the sound combination, you say the sounds. The sound is k. Get ready. K. I can spell the sound combination C K. Spell the k sound combination. Get ready. Yes, C K. Check or change your work. Five. Four, three, two, one. The next sound combination you're gonna write is the sound combination R. What sound combination? You ready? Yes, R. On line two, write the sound combination R. Go. Five, four, two, one. Eyes on me. As I write the sound combination, you say the sound. As I write the sound combination, you say the sounds. Sound is R. Get ready. R. I can spell the R sound combination. A R. Your turn. Spell the R sound combination. Get ready. Yes, A R. Check or change your work. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Eyes on me. The next sound combination you're going to write is the sound combination shh. What sound combination? Get ready? Yes, shh. On line three, write the sound combination shh. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Eyes on me. As I write the sound combination, you say the sound. As I write the sound combination, you say the sound. Get ready? Shh. I can spell the sh sound combination. My turn. S H. Your turn. Spell the sh sound combination. Get ready. Yes, S H. Check or change your work. Five, four, three, two, one. The next word you're going to write is the word when. What word? Get ready. Yes, when. Like when is the party. That uh, that kind of win. Listen, I can say the sounds. It's the w sound combination, and it's a e, not a i. Use that w sound combination. Write the word win. Go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Eyes on me. As I write the word, you say the sounds. As I write the word, you say the sounds. The word is when. Get ready. When. What word? Get ready. Yes. When. Please make sure you have the w sound combination and that you have an e and not an i. Check or change your work. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, the next word you're going to write is the word also. What word? Get ready. Yes, also. I can say the sounds in also. 
get rid of my turn. All so say the sounds in also. Get ready. All so on line five, write the word also. Go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Eyes on me. As I write the word, you say the sounds as I write the word. You say the sounds. The word is also. Get ready. Also. What word? Get ready. Yes, also. Please make sure you have the A-L sound combination. Check or change your work. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Eyes on me. The next word you're going to write is the word stop. What word? Get ready. Yes, stop. Say the sounds and stop. Get ready. Stop. One more time. Get ready. Stop. On line six, write the word stop. Go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Eyes on me. As I write the word, you say the sounds. As I write the word, you say the sounds. Say the sounds and stop. Get ready. Stop. What word? Get ready. Yes. Stop. Check or change your word. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. The next word you're going to write is the word of. What word? Get ready. Yes, of. Even though of is a short word, it is a tricky word. Listen to the sounds we're going to write for the word of. My turn. Off. Off. Say the sounds you're going to write for the word of. Get ready? Off. On line seven, write the word of. Go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Eyes on me. As I write the word, you say the sounds. As I write the word, you say the sounds. The word is of. Say off. Get ready. Off. That's how we sound it out, but how do we say it fast? Get ready. Of. How do we say it fast? Get ready. Yes, of. Check or change your word. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Eyes on me. Okay. Now it's where we would normally flip to the back. We're not going to do that. Right now I need you to draw a line down the middle of your paper so we can use the, the right side. Right now you have five seconds. Draw a line down the middle of your paper. Go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. The next word you're going to write is the word with. What word? Get ready. Yes, with. Say the sounds in with. Get ready. Ooh, one more time, get ready. Ooh, and it's the normal woo. It is not sound combination woo. On line one, but over to the right side, write the word with. Go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Eyes on me. As I write the word, you say the sounds. As I write the word, you say the sounds. The word is with. Get ready. With. What word? Get ready. Yes, with. Make sure you have the normal woo, not the sound combination woo, and make sure you do have the sound combination th. Th. Check or change your work. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, the next word you're going to write is the word scent. What word? Get ready. Yes, scent. Listen to me say the sounds. Scent. Say the sounds with me. You ready? Scent. Write the word scent. Go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Eyes on me. As I write the word, you say the sounds. As I write the word, you say the sounds. The word is scent. Get ready. Scent. What word? Get ready. Yes, scent. Check or change your word. Make sure you have the e eh and not an i. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. 
The next word you're going to write is the word said. What word? You ready? Yes, said. And remember, said is a tricky word. Listen to me say the sounds we're going to write for said. S -a -i -d. S -a -i -d. Say the sounds you're going to write for the word said. You ready? S -a -i -d. Write the word said. Go. Five. Four, three, two, one. Eyes on me. As I write the word, you say the sounds. As I write the word, you say the sounds. The word is said. Get ready. Said. What word? Get ready. Said. What word? Get ready. Yes. Said. Check or change your work. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Eyes on me. The next year, word you're going to write is the word they. What word? Get ready. Yes, they. Listen to me say the sounds in they. They. Okay, say the sounds in they. Get ready. They. Write the word they on underneath said. Go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Eyes on me. As I write the word, you say the sounds. I write the word, you say the sounds. The word is they. Get ready. They. What word? Get ready. Yes, they. Check or change your word. Five. Four, three, two, one. Eyes on me. Now it's time to write a sentence. The sentence you're going to write is the words They sing and ring the bell. They sing and ring the bell. They sing and and ring the bell. There's only two tricky words in that sentence, the word they, but we just learned how to spell that on your paper. They sing and ring the bell. Bell is a tricky word. It has a double L. That means it has two L's on the end. Everything else you can spell just by sounding it out. They, where I lost, oh, they sing and ring the bell. Say the sentence with me. Get ready. They sing and ring the bell. Remember, when we write sentences, we always start with a capital letter. When we write sentences, we always put finger spaces between our words. When we write sentences, we always say the sounds as we write. And when we write statements, we end, when we write sentences, we end statements with a period. They sing and ring the bell. Capital letter, finger spaces, period, go. Make sure you have that capital T for the word they. Okay, you're writing, you're writing. As you write, pause the video. When you're done writing, come back. Okay, so if you're watching this part, you should have already written your sentence. I'm going to write it. You're going to help me out, so you're going to say the sounds as I write. The first one is they. What word? Get ready. Yes, they. Say the sounds. Get ready. They. What word? Get ready. Yes, they. The next word is sing. What word? Get ready. Yes, sing. Say the sound and sing. Get ready. Sing. What word? Get ready. Yes, sing. They sing and. Next word is and. Sound it out. Get ready. And. What word? Get ready. Yes, and. They sing and ring. Sound out the word ring. Get ready. Ring. What word? Get ready. Yes, ring. They sing and ring the. We already know how to spell the. T-H-E. How do you spell the? You ready? Yes, T-H-E. T. The. They sing and ring the bell. Sound out the word bell. Ready? B. L. O. Don't forget that double L for with the word bell. So let's look. Capital letter. Check. Finger spaces. Check. Period. Check. 
and all my words are spelled correctly because I sound in the bow. At this point, you can pause on this screen, check and change your work, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.